might even be able to do two groups if we talk to them. So um, we won't be using uh, the microscope until uh, a little bit later on, so don't worry about that for now. Uh, cash stills are used for measuring volatile acidity, and we'll get to that later on, but that's something we'll be doing uh, right away. What's the name of it? This is a cash still. Yeah. And uh, this is a setup for uh, SO2 measurement. Uh, yeah, so we'll uh, probably be doing some of that tonight. That's going to be, uh, this is uh, vacuum aspiration. So we'll um, probably be doing some of that tonight. Um, these are the pipettes, and these are used for adding uh, acids and bases and things um, to solutions. And so um, what we most normally use in here are uh, NaOH, sodium hydroxide solutions, typically for the 0.01 and the 0.1, which are the typical um, uh, strengths that we use here. We'll use the skinny ones, we'll put the 0.01 in there, and the thicker ones um, will have a 0.1, the stronger solution. That's just kind of a general rule that we usually go through. And usually depending on which lab you're running, so like the 0.01 is going to be for doing the so twos, mm -hmm. and the uh, point one is for doing your total acidity. Right, right, exactly. Um, right. So, right, so we have, so this is SO2 over here, SO2 over here, so we have three different stations for SO2, so we can sort of do that at the same time. And then we've got the two pH meters here, so we'll take you through how to calibrate um, the pH as well. And um, this is a little stirring thing. So you put that in the, in yeah, the so beaker and it will stir it up for you. And this is the heater um, yes. for uh, boiling off a CO2 out of wine. Heater. Heater, heater. Heater. Uh, it's still water. We should have um, a few more of these. Okay. And that's so most of the equipment is here to do most of the stuff here. That's why we have to go to the So. As far as the rest of them, we'll see how much they've actually moved over the summer. Uh, glassware, first set of drawers, or cabinets here. I mean, these are what we have. Um, Roland Myers beakers, graduate cylinders, all pretty much labeled and telling you where it's at. Down below, all the drawers are going to have different stuff. This one's pretty much kind of miscellaneous. Although, this always the tapes are here, yeah. and so you always have to label. It's good practice to label your beakers with whatever's in them, whatever solution, because there's going to be a million and one clear solutions in beakers, so it's always good to label. And then these little things are usually for measuring out, like um, potassium metabisulfite or other things that you want to measure on the scale. Real important goggles, of course. We'll make sure I have eye protection for everything. So down here, moving along. So this is a hydrometer drawer. I don't know how many folks are pretty familiar with hydrometers. We've got a whole different range of them. That one needs to be cleaned. But uh, again, pretty fragile when you're holding on to these. A couple hands, good. And we'll demonstrate how to how to use those to get a get a bricks reading later on. Uh, I've also got some different temperature probes. And, like, and a portable refractometer that you can use for out in the field, um, primarily for checking sugars there as well. The next drawer. And the drawers are generally labeled, yeah. so sort of, it sort of matches what the uh, contents are. So usually. <laughs> usually. <laughs> um, scales, they're actually fairly accurate, have a pretty good range. Um, the next one down is some pipettes. Yeah. So most of them are disposable in here, and then the different little vacuum. We for some reason have found that these guys tend to work better than these guys, and we can go through more. Are they working now? They're new? Well, maybe that's yeah, better than last year, then cool. So, the other stuff in the cabinets up above, basically, to and we not much on the left. Oh, that's the two stuff on the left there. But um, so all the this, this is, is all the pH meter, right? Calibration solutions. So that's the first one. Next one. So this will be all your acids and bases, as well as some additives and your indicators. Um, so again, acids, bases. Um, so I've had a couple dry cams, dry find, different things like that. 
you know, we're doing making yeah. Riesling and it's 20. Sometimes it came that's up here too, but and I, I come don't in, see it, right? Uh, you know, yeah, it's over in the other room. Down to 18. It's in the other room now. Yeah, I come in at the six. Yeah, we'll ask them if I don't remember. And it should be actually. Not really much. You know, yeah, it's just like this. That's pretty much it. Uh, as far as where everything's at in the lab. Yeah, let me, uh, and there's miscellaneous equipment underneath yeah, and filter strong. pads and things like that. And so, but you'll be most often um, drawers and cabinets up here. Know where the beakers are. Know where the acids and bases are, and know where the pH um, solutions are. That's the most important.